Green blessings, I'm Susan Weed. Here's some yellow dock seeds. Hmm, yes indeed. As usually happens in nature, there's another plant growing in among these yellow dock seeds. See it right here? Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. And I'm going to pull that out. So look over your plants. Make sure you only have what you want. Can you see that these seeds are a little different? They're a little different in color. They're a little different in size. And these are the seeds of the Rumex Crispus the one with the narrow curly leaf and these are the seeds of the rumex optusifolia the one with the bigger leaf the seeds are bigger too and they're dried right on the stalk here these hold during the winter months and provide good food it's related to buckwheat it's in the buckwheat family it has the same kind of nutrition that buckwheat also known as kasha has and not only do the birds really like these all winter but uh, people who like floral displays, um, of course, are pretty much out of flowers when it gets to be winter, so they will often harvest stalks of yellow dock seeds, which will not shatter in your house. You can bring them right in, make beautiful displays with them. They look very nice with hydrangea and other things that stay well. Cattails, if you've ever tried that, don't. They will shatter, and you'll have cattail fluff all over the house. People only bring cattail in once. All right, we've got a big bowl of the yellow dock seeds here, and we're going to put those yellow dock seeds. You know, most of the time, the constituents or the qualities that are held in the root are also held in the seed. I was told that, that the native people would use this seed as a foodstuff. I find it very difficult to use as a foodstuff. The seeds themselves are locked down in all of this chaff. Let's see if we can get some seeds out for you to see. Okay, here's the seeds themselves right there. Can you see them? They're wee little seeds. So it's quite a lot of work to get those seeds out from the chaff. And as you can see, when I'm making the vinegar, I don't have to do anything at all except put those seeds in my jar. Chaff and all. It's all just fine. It's all okay in the vinegar it's just astringent and not yummy to eat so if you really wanted to make buckwheat pancakes from yellow dock seeds you have some work ahead of you here's our pasteurized apple cider vinegar and we got our jar filled with yellow dock seeds now i tell you something that i learned the hard way and that is don't fill your jar all the way full with yellow dock seed because it's dry and it's going to absorb some liquid and if you fill it all the way full you might break your jar once again, because we have a metal lid, we're going to put some plastic over that and get our lid on there. Yellow dock seed vinegar does all those wonderful things that yellow dock does. Helps keep me healthy, helps keep me regular, helps keep my blood with just the right amount of iron. It's not going to force iron into the blood, but if you need iron, there's actually no iron in yellow dock. It just maximizes your body's ability to use the iron that it needs. Mm -mm. I'm so happy to have a pantry full of remedies for times when I'm sick and remedies to keep me well so I don't get sick. That's why herbal medicine is people's medicine. Thanks for joining me.